My name is Xavier and welcome to me trying to hack into a van with Grind's gun. Anywho's, let's do yield slow-mo 1.5 because this is a stealth mission. I like them to move a little bit quicker. Varnacked scout. It's going to be extremely light. Three pods. There's probably something right on top of there. Then we have to get out and we only have eight turns. Fascinating. All right, let's move up with Varnacked. I'm going to be a little aggressive. I'm not too worried about drones in this position. We see actually a lot of HP worth of stuff and as usual, they're guarding the objective, so Copy that. Uh, let's move up. Holy pod, Batman. That is a serious pod of guys. But that also means there's only probably one more pod of four, or maybe a pod of three and a drone. I need some advanced scouting here. Varnex, do... well, before I do that... The only way I want to actually be able to pull this off is an unbelievably perfect burnination. It must be perfect. Where can one do a perfect burnination? Let's see, they're moving this way, I believe. I think they're going to keep going that way, so let's come out to the left here, and we'll hit them when they come back. Is my plan. And I think if I'm here, could they move seven tiles? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They could see me there, so let's come to this tile. No need to ask twice. And then let's send Varnacht out here and a little bit of a scout. Okay. Ooh. There's the last pod. This is bad. This is bad. Varnak does not have Ghost Walker. He really does not have Ghost Walker, though. And this pod is coming out here, so he. Oh, wait. No, we're not spotted. Okay. I thought the drone was actually going to overlap, but amazingly, it didn't. But this is everything on the map. We know where it all is. So, I guess I was wrong about this. They started coming back. It would be so nice to drop a rocket right on them right now. Because the car would then blow up and these two sectoids would be destroyed. But doing that, these guys are going to hear that. And then they're going to come over and we have no chance of success of this mission. So I think that's not a smart plan. It's tempting. It's very tempting. But it's not a smart plan. Okay, instead, let's try to get away from this pod over here. We'll come out uh, over here with me. Very good. Now let's try to burninate from over here with a flamethrower, which is a lot quieter than a rocket. And then what the heck am I going to do here? I can see everything, so I'm safe to move, but I want to keep eyes on most things. Also, we only have a few turns left here. But considering, you know, six turns left and we know where everything is, this isn't actually bad. Just not having Ghost Walker is so dicey. Let's come all the way back here with Varnacht. Very nice. Oh no, that's not what I want. I need these guys to not be near the objective. Huh. Okay. Well, I'm gonna hope these guys leave and they leave soon. Let's come up here with me. I want to wait for them to come back. We'll burninate them. What I want to burninate them from maybe here is probably a smarter place, because then I'll, I'll, I can use the truck as a line of sight blocker. Yeah, let's do that. Varnak is almost caught in the crossfires here. I feel like we absolutely have to move him back far enough that we're completely safe, which is all the way back here. Okay. This is not good. Well, actually, it might be okay. So, I actually have line of sight on all four of them. I don't see the other four thanks to the truck. This was a good... Oh my god, yes! But if I do this, these guys are going to see the corpses. And if I don't do this, they're probably going to walk over here and spot me, so I feel like I kind of have to do it. We're not going to get spotted with Varnex, so we don't have to worry about that. But this is... this is... Uh... Okay, let's do it! My debut! A burninate everything! Please, everyone catch on fire. That would be nice. Nice. Six. One guy's dead. 
I can't tell if they, I think they're both burning. All, all three of them are burning. It's not quite going to be enough to kill them all. Oh my heavens. That is just so close to being scary, but there's too much fog. Very much fascinate. Okay. Now then, these guys are going to be on alert because they see a corpse. No doubt about that. They're probably going to go investigate the corpse. I wonder... And I, and I don't know if this is smart. What if I came back here and threw a grenade? Would they want to go check it out, do you think? And if they did, would that even help me? Probably not. Let's instead move up a little bit with Varnect. So we can... Uh, I think between the rocket and the second flamethrower, I might even be able to kill all this stuff. We'll find out when I end the turn. Nice! Burn for three, burn for two. And burn for three! Wow! There is one thing that I can confirm beyond the shadow of a doubt, and it is that I am the ultimate flamer. <laughs> now this is incredible. This pod doesn't know that I'm here. But if I, uh, if I shoot a rocket at this van, it's gonna blow up the objective? Oh my god. Oh my god. If I come- Oh my god. Oh my god, I have such a lead Haxor! Oh, but no, there's fire in the house. Every single- Every single- Oh, I didn't think about this. Every single tile. Why can't I just go here, and then here? It goes through the fire. Every single tile that I want to go through to get in there will light me on fire. What if I went over here like that? That wouldn't do it, but I would activate the drone doing that. What about this? That wouldn't do it, but this would. Man, the one tile I need to get through. Alright. What the heck do I do now? Okay, this I can actually burn, but where's the extra guys, though? It was a pot of four, right? And I do have to actually pay attention to the fact that the thing needs to be hacked. Alright, well, one thing I know I need to do is throw the evac flare. I'm not 100% sure where to throw it. I guess here. I need an evac ASAP! This is Firebrand. Evac request confirmed. Hold tight. Do I want to burn the office? Oh, now I can all of a sudden see them? What? Well, I can't burninate them. Or can I? Yeah, because the burnination is actually going, like, around the, the truck. It's not going through the truck, it's going around it like a flamethrower actually would. So I wonder if this means if I can just move up and burn them. I mean, I can move up. What would happen? Can I shoot through the truck? No, the truck blocks it. God, that's so laggy right now. I can shoot around the truck, though, like it feeds around the loop. Huh. Alright. Let's 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 try to maximize these new flamethrower mechanics. If I come out over two and up one, it wouldn't be enough. I'd have to go out into the open to make this work. And then the drone's gonna be there. But I think this'll work. I really do. Alright, let's move me up into the open, because that's what I'm gonna do, and then let's use a flamethrower to just literally push flames around the side of this truck. This is why flamethrower is gonna get less damage, because it's a hell of a lot more useful. Double burnination. I do like me some fires. Alright, that guy did not catch on fire, this stun lancer. Extremely important to note. Because he's alive and he can stun. Also, of import, is the fact that we have, um, this drone over here. I cannot believe Varnek's aim is so low. That is literally the worst aim I've ever seen. I'm not even sure if I should do this or if I should try a grenade. I mean, would a gun be better? I don't know. Obviously, we're committed to this battle, though. 
So let's get in there with Varnax. Yep. Position compromised. So I could shoot him for 77, or I could flesh him for 77, and the flesh does a lot more damage. So let's do that. And pray it works. Varnax 77! A slice off his head! For exactly, apparently, what you needed to hit. So anyway, nothing left but a drone. Oh, I mean, actually that sectoid's not gonna be dead. He's no longer burning, this one's dead. I can't, what the heck, this was not the plan. <laughs> I didn't necessarily think that I would be showing up and killing everything. Well, then again, I mean, it is me. Like, let's be, let's be honest now. You cocky cock! Friend, really? I mean, if you could have survived that, I guess it makes some sense. We have two turns now. Also note that this truck is on fire. So kind of hacking is the thing that needs to be done. A Varnect 67 on the drone for maybe all of its health. That's the only way we're gonna kill that drone, I feel. And then I can get in there and hack, right? Yes, that makes sense. I think so, or should I throw a grenade on the drone and hope this thing doesn't burn to death? I don't think it'll burn to death. I think it burns for three turns. Or no, it doesn't. I don't remember how it works. But if I go in there and don't flank the sector, geez, this is kind of dicey. Alright, I'm gonna put the objective first. So let's grab Varnect. And we're gonna run across the map, and we're gonna not 77% hit that guy. Instead, we're gonna come over here. I cannot believe his aim is so low. And we're gonna throw a grenade on this sectoid, probably killing the loot. Actually, no, there was no loot. Killing the zombie. Uh, that frees up me to get in. I'm really worried this this truck's gonna explode now because it's on fire and fire mental, uh, fire mental, fire environmental damage is getting nerfed like tomorrow, but it's not nerfed right now. So let's get in and get this one percent, one percent. Matt, it looks like I have one hundred percent more tech score than you. I take that. Anywho, let's grab a large cache of intel. Oh, for oh, I'm so bad at this. Large cache of intel. I can do this 100% me. No. Close though. Very close. All right. Now I have the issue of the drone here. Laser sight data cache. Okay. <laughs> That's a very good question. Wow, that drone though. Oh God! Oh God! I was right. I was right! I am so good at this game! Literally, in and out of it! Wow! If I didn't do that, that objective would be gone, but I did do it, and now the objective's not gone. You know what? For fun, let's shred this drone. Oh, I didn't realize there was loot over there. Holy, look at me with the grenades. It just doesn't end. Let's come over here, grab this loot with Varnak. What is going on with this mission? Unbelievable! Illyrium no core, right? and do I want to just get out or do I want to try to kill this drone with a flesh? 67%, you know what? We've pushed our luck far enough. We've pushed our luck far enough, and we out. Holy mission of craziness. Guys, though, guys. Flawless victory. Can it be any surprise, though? I mean, I was on the mission f for serious. You know, I mean, like most people go stealth, when they're doing like stealthy missions. I don't. I get in there and I just burn it. I am a regular Trogdor. Wow. I am absolutely to the limit. Come on, Fahogo gods. <laughs> Look at my smirk. <sighs> and I'm pretty sure someone in the comments mentioned something about my luck. Okay. It is decided. It is absolutely decided. Grind, you're not getting your gun back. That fire red is mine. And I am going 100% flamer. Going with roost. Varnex. Uh, we need stealth. So yield Ghostwalker. Holy bananas. It, it is just so thematic. You know what? 
Let's go do a little bit of the old customization because somebody, I think, deserves it. Oh, and there it is. We're gonna just absolutely wear this tattoo with pride. A fire red burning alien. That could not be any sweeter. And God, does that look so unbelievably fantastic with Grind's gun. It looks so good. I love it. I love it. <sighs> okay, as for the rest of the stuff, I need to screw around with... Well, first, let's go look at the Geoscape, because I can actually see it for once. I get supplies, apparently. All right, so we can... There's no reason to stay here and scan. We're, I have a soldier up here and supplies down there. I need to contact a region, but I can't do that till I do resistance comms. So, I guess the only real thing then is squad management. And I'm not sure if I want to do this now. I think I want to do this later when I have time to think about it. And maybe I'll just highlight it uh, at the end of the next episode. Because I want to put some thought into who's going where and why. Uh, yeah, we'll do that later. Okay, so for now, let's just go scanny scan. Um, let's do soldier first Avenger in case in case board. there's uh, I, I, There's no reason to do soldier first Actually now that I'm thinking about it. Do I want to build something with all these supplies and power probably not But what I do want to do is unlock a new thing 50 supplies two power for the research. Let's put in the Farahi Moshodi. I remember actually saving him at some point. Hey, is that Godong? Godong wanna! Godong wanna is doing science! Fantastic! Uh, and then the next step of the thing is to figure out whether or not I want to build something. It might make sense for me to build a workshop. Because that will give me one extra power and I could put another laboratory slot in before having to upgrade the power. I mean, there's no real great place to put the workshop. Ideally, I'd dig this out and dig this out and then use it to dig these things up. But I don't really care. Then again, I don't need that power. I don't have an extra scientist anyway. And I could use this money to buy armor in just a minute. So let's not do that. A scanny scan. Alien debris, 53. Okay, let's do the power coil next. This coil could provide us with some additional power for the Avenger systems. But we'll need to add some shielding first to protect the crew. What'd we get? Oh my god, it's Dagar! It looks like Bradford went on a uh, rescue mission. No, wait, Dagar told me how to pronounce his name. Let me look it up here. Dagger is spoken like Doug, the past form of dig, and a pirate R. Figure you are a pirate digging out a treasure chest, and you only find empty rum bottles. That's how. All right, Doug R. Apparently you're a corporal. Doug R. Wait, how do you? How, I need to. I need to get my pirate voice. I love pirates. I'm so good at pirate impersonations. Why the? My freaking Skype. Like, Icon is literally me dressed as the pirate. Like, that is what the Long War team has had to look at for a year, is pirate me. And here I am screwing up my pirate voice. Well, I'm just gonna let my voice sleep until tomorrow, and then I'll learn how to do pirates. But until then, Corporal Ranger? That's perfect, because that replaces Acta. I can't be any more happier about this. This red hue is actually a bug, a vanilla bug, based on the region. Hot regions, um, like this one here, it's, it looks like East Africa have uh, sometimes red hues in the background. Let's go check out Dugar. Dugar. Ugh, for God's sakes. It looks like Dutch um, is his call sign here. 73 aim, that's okay. I mean, Ecta had more as a freaking squaddy. It's kind of bad, really. But he has 17 mobility, though. Huh, and 48 will. Fascinating. I don't know, we'll figure that out later. Let me know if you have any preference for what you want to do. Mr. Dagar, but in the meantime, let's Avengers go to settlements. We scan for supplies. We find communications. Let's assign new research. Let's continue that drone autopsy that I wanted to do a long time ago. Robotics are very nice. I want to get that gremlin for Wade Anthony. New Chile, West Africa, East Africa. New Australia. Oh, hey! So I should probably point this out because it's unbelievably fascinating. But look at all these extra lines on the map. I can practically guarantee you no one in the world has noticed that there's extra lines on the map. But you know who noticed that is me because I spent a whole night drawing those lines. Especially this one here for some reason. I literally spent three hours trying to get like this line to line up to the pixel. Like, look at that pixel. You have to go way over here to even see a gap. 
And if we look at like the vanilla lines, there's some pretty bad ones, actually, honestly. Like that's a, or maybe, I don't know if that's one. But mine's actually pretty good. Anyway, uh, I am just jibber jabbering up a storm. 85 supplies, it's a done. Where do we want to contact next? We know we need to go up here, so let's go up here, make contact with East intel Africa. To make contact. We'll have to scan the region for a few days We're down to nine intel, so I can't boost anything? Once we find them, we'll be up and running in the new region. Commander, Ooh. Juan is done. So Henry's done. Looks like I only have one rookie left, and it's Shelves. Why hasn't Shelves become something yet? Very low mobility, high health, and good aim. Oh, hey, Constantine is a sharpshooter. Lance Corporal 72. That's not bad. Pretty good will, too. What do I want to do with Shelves, though? So I guess it just leaves Ranger. Not a bad choice. I need. I like the Rangers anyway. Guerrilla Tactics, Shelbs, you're in. Yes, as a ranger. Oh, this reminds me, I'm out of slots, so why don't I go recruit some people? I only have two people, Axel Ottoman and Stephen, Stephen Cook. You guys remember Stephen Cook? You probably don't, because he was on the episode that Book of Eons got line of sight hacked, and he got panicked as a result of that, and then just died. That was his first mission, he showed up, he didn't take a shot, I don't think he just died. <laughs> Poor Stephen Cook. Poor Stephen Cook. I do need some more Shinobis though, and he's got 16 mobility, so Stephen Cook, you're on the squad. You're on the squad as a soon-to-be Shinobi. A boom. Let's finish this scan. We recruited someone from South Africa. Oh, recruited someone was recruited from South Africa. As in, no? What just happened? Why did it say someone was recruited and I didn't get anything? I'm gonna have to look at that after the fact. Like, the game paused and nothing happened. Ooh, robotics is done. New research. The Gremlin Mark II, that's what I want. Battle scanners also. But uh, I think I need a proving ground for that, and I don't have one. So mobile armor, or do I want to try to get Stun Lancer Autopsy for swords? Definitely. Normally I do mobile armor, but I definitely want... Johnny Maple to have a new sword, so let's go stun Lancer. The advent. Okay, Wade Anthony is done promotion. Who else can we toss in here? You know what? We can promote Wade Anthony again. Let's give him get some. Hey, we got a new region. New regional contacts located. Very good. Let's put every oh, this is a terrible region. Only four people? Well, obviously everyone's going on intel. Let's find the highest ranking officer we can. Probably for now, we'll just stick in uh, run PMC. Just for now, just until the mission pops. Very good, some supplies. Let's just put everyone down here in the shielded power coil. I think I need to build a power thing next, then I'm gonna put it on the shielded power coil. Ideally, you want to put the lab on the shielded power coil, but whatever. It's okay to put the other thing. Not quite as good. Cutthroat! Sun Lancers have cutthroat. Boy, do I need to detect some missions, huh? Very good. We've got some stun lancering, which gives us what I really want, an arc blade. Very nice. At this point, I'm gonna go mobile armor. Do I have the alloys in Illyrium? I do, I have plenty. Absolutely plenty. Come on, guys, just find some mission. That I have to infiltrate? I'm gonna be here forever. Someone's been recruited. I'm gonna put them on recruit because I'm sure there's at least one faceless in here if we ever detect them. Aha! A mission! With four days, find a lead intel package. Extremely light. All right, let's gear it up. Guys, I've got a squad for you. Check this out. Xavier's Zero Thermic Xenophobes with blood red burning aliens. Oh my god, Grind, you are never getting this gun back, friend. You are never getting it back. Also, I put Dagar on the squad, and I've got uh, Varnak here, and since Killjoy, uh, there was a lot of good suggestions for a squad based on Killjoy's name, but I'm gonna just yoink Killjoy for now, and we can uh, do something with that in the future because. This is so good! I love this squad! I love it! Emergent storytelling is happening here, and I've gotta run with it, and this is fantastic. It just looks great, and it complements so well the Book of Eons' boisterous boys in me. 
Oh, good lord. Anyway, I need to buy a bunch of stuff, so I figured I'd um, buy it. Also, brand new thing, shaped a charge. A small, directed explosive designed to knock down walls. It also, I think, is really loud. We're gonna buy one of those and try it out for the first time. That'll be in patch 1.1. In addition, I'm kind of thinking it would be really nice to have one of these Gremlin Mark 1s, or Mark 2s. Let's buy one of those. And then I definitely want to blow a lot of money on armor. Predator armor is 30 supplies and 5 alloys. Let's buy 3 and let's just deck out this squad in the most unbelievably awesome gear. Oh my god, Killjoy. That is just so sleek. Look at that. Unbelievably sleek. Dagar already has one. Dagar. God damn it, I gotta get my pirate voice going. I'll put one on. Yeah, look at that. That's fantastic. And then what we got over here? A Varnect. That looks pretty generic, friend, to be entirely honest. If you want to change your character a little bit, by all means, gray and brown might not be the most flashy thing, but hey. It, uh, I don't know if you can really, really usurp the flashiness of the, the guy standing next to you, to be entirely honest. Alright then, let's build one of those, um, what are they called? Slicey Dicers? Arc Blade requires a Stun Lancer Corpse. Unfortunately, I only apparently had one, so I can't build it. That sucks. Let's give Killjoy the new Gremlin. Gremlin Mark II, boom. Much better. Also, Killjoy, let's go advanced hacking. Boom! Wow, Killjoy's up to 83 hacking. No jokes here. Good lord, Killjoy's a champ. I gotta figure out what I wanna do with Dagger's promotions, apparently. He's got so much dodge and so much mobility, I don't know if I can not go for the ultimate, like, yeah, he's gonna be a small squad operative slash uh, infiltrator hunter. So he's either gonna go with me on small missions with Killjoy, or he's gonna go out and uh, do some infiltrating when he's not doing that. So what we're actually gonna do with Dagger is go close and personal, and then we're gonna go pump action. And I'm gonna go center mass after that. Dagger is just gonna get in the face of things and he is gonna literally evaporate the face of those things with the incredible dodge and good mobility. And that means we're gonna have to give him a SMG. So let's build a few of those. We actually kind of need four of them. Do I have the money for four SMGs? They're not that important. I'm just gonna build, um... I'm probably only gonna build one right now just for Dagger. Reason being that I want to have uh, enough money left over for armor for the, some other squad. And then let's give him yield auto loader and then expanded magazine. Looks good. Now who's likely to die in here? I don't know. I don't know if I want to give out any of these PCSs just yet. Not to this squad. Anyway, I think this is good enough. I think we're going to give me the shape charge because that makes a lot of sense. I think I would definitely be having that if there were someone to be having it. And this is the squad. It looks great. It looks fantastic, actually. I don't think it could look any better except for Varnak, who looks a little bland, Mr. Sir. Anywho, uh, let's go. Wow. Just wow. Sky Ranger deployed. And we scan. Sabotage a monument in five days. To get some attention. I don't want to do that. This is the only region I have right now. I need to not bring attention to me. I need to be very careful and under the radar. So let's skip that. Wade Anthony's done in the training. Much better officer time training now. Much, much, much better. Let's see, Makronova needs some training for he's not he doesn't even have the base level yet. He's got his own squad and he's not an officer. Not gonna be good. That's a scan. Two more rookies are done. Shelves is up. Stephen Cook, you're up. And it looks like we're actually at this point out of people to train. Except for Axel Ottoman, who I'm just gonna recruit for the hell of it and train into something. Axel Ottoman has pretty middling stats all around and we're short on grenadiers, so let's train up one of them. Because grenadiers probably don't need any good stats because they just shoot grenades. But at least this way we'll have someone who can, uh... Throw them if someone gets wounded. Another target. We see very light. Intel one day. Recover item. That's almost certainly Lib 1. Unfortunately, we cannot do it. Commander, we want to 
New Arctic. Work on the Avatar project. That's where that is. One Keep that in mind. Wow, there's possible. a lot of activities going on in this little place. <gasps> Are you... What the hell is... Th how is this even possible? I only have four people working Intel and the Advent Strength is three. And I have a data tap? I literally thought this should be impossible. Unless it was changed recently. Well, the way this is a retaliation, it's a mini retaliation. We've got one day to get over there and defend it. If we don't defend it, our intel is destroyed, and we can't do any intel for three weeks, which is not going to be good. So we're going to have to gear this up, and then we're going to have to launch this. And you know what? It might make sense for me to gear it up later, because I want to go to bed. And I need to think about this. We can bring a full squad of eight. It's going to be a huge immediate launch. No infiltration, just go. So yeah, I'm going to do this tomorrow. Anyways, this is going to be the mission. It's... I don't think I trust baseline enemy activity on these data taps. I can't remember. The data taps are the one where they spawn and you have to defend the, the tap. And oftentimes they spawn on top of it and just kill it instantly. So, uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it rolls. But this will be tomorrow's mission. Uh, tomorrow. Today. The mission. No idea what I'm saying. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Try on.